episode 36. We just finished episode 35, uh, clarifying that we are sanctified by the word of God. Jesus Christ, the, the living word, uh, the Holy Spirit. He says in John 16, I must go up so that the Holy Spirit can come and will clarify to you what I've been talking about. So who clarifies the Bible to us? It's the Holy Spirit. You do not need the traditions of man. You do not need any hu humanistic uh, reasoning uh, or, or argument or any traditions, uh, but just the Holy Spirit uh, and the rule of our revival and uh, reformation of, of this 95 uh, episodes of this um, series, Righteousness by Faith, which is judgment, is the everlasting gospel because Jesus is our creator, Jesus is our lawyer, Jesus is our judge. Uh, is, uh, if there is a complicated text that we find in the Bible, it should, must and should always be clarified by another simple text in the Bible. Uh, and we have noticed that 75% of revelation or, or prophecy in the New Testament is just a direct quote from the uh, Old Testament, which Paul made rest. Um, so uh, we have to know the Old Testament. Whenever we see Jesus talking about uh, something, we have to refer back to the New Testament, just like Paul or whatever uh, uh, New Testament writers say. Paul says, that uh, we must learn Exodus uh, because that's our sp uh, the, the journey of the spiritual Israel. Israel, we have no, uh, we have seen chapter seven of Daniel. We are going to go into detail. Were cut off uh, since the uh, decree uh, by success of the Medes, Medes and Persia to um, rebuild Jerusalem. Uh, Seventy weeks, which is uh, four hundred and ninety days, which is four hundred ninety. Um, years. Uh, so from that time uh, to, 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 to uh, from the time to rebuild Jerusalem, it 490 years it came to AD 34, which marked the well, marked and uh, marked by the death, the stoning of the Stephen, and the calling of Saul, the murderer of the uh, 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 people of God, the covenant people of God of Jesus Christ. Um, uh, and he was converted, and uh, that's why they, he was named Saul, uh, Paul. So let us look into what are the things that the Bible says that we should know Jesus Christ. What he is in the Old Testament. Uh, and it's the best book about it. It's in Romans chapter 5. Let us read. Therefore, having been justified by faith. So we know that justification is a legal term. It's the uh, verdict that the, uh, the judge gives uh, when he pronounces of a judgment, whether one person is guilty or not guilty. And we have seen that in the, uh, the, in, in the tabernacle or the sanctuary in the temple, that even the priest and the high priest, they have to offer their sin offering before they offer the sin offering for the people of God. So uh, it confirms something that all are unrighteous, all are sinners. Uh, we need Jesus Christ. We were born sinners, uh, in, uh, King David said. So the only way to be justified, to be acquitted, to be pronounced not guilty because we are all sinners, is to claim uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, Jesus Christ's death on Calvary. Remember the tape? Remember the tape that was made? Always remember this text. People only remember uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17, if somebody is with Christ, he is a new creation. No, but remember uh, verse 21, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. He, God, has in, uh, imputed into him, Jesus Christ, all our sins so that we can have the righteousness of God in him, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. So those two go together, the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, to, to, to confirm to us, to prove to us that we always need the Holy Spirit. That's why, that's why the Bible says, you know, uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit. So let us go, to, 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 we already noticed that. Uh, we found out that in Ephesians chapter uh, 1, uh, verse uh, 3 and 13. Uh, remember that? Uh, when you have Jesus Christ, uh, the righteousness of Jesus Christ, uh, you have the gift of the Holy Spirit as promised. Uh, blessed to be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. That's why Paul is saying in Colossians chapter 3, our lives are hidden in Christ. 
Uh, and we have all the spiritual blessings that are unique to the right price. We are so aware of it. Uh, so that's why it says in Colossians chapter 3, only think of the things that are of heaven. What are your rights? Uh, who are you in Christ? Uh, so we should not think of any other thing, uh, uh, anything else. Uh, if you look into the world, just like Peter, when he looked around the sea, he fell. Uh, only focus on the sea. Fell. And it says in verse 13, uh, we already done that. In him, you also, listening to the message of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, you know, having also believed, you were sealed in him, sealed in Christ, with the Holy Spirit of the promise. Remember? So uh, the first time, just like a tax collector, just like any, any old Bible uh, character or hero in the Bible, when he realizes that he's a sinner, he gives his life. Automatically, Christ is a righteousness is given unto him, imputed unto him, with a promise, with a gift of the Holy Spirit, as he has promised in John 16. And in verse 14, it says, Who is the first installment of our inheritance or down payment? In regard to the redemption of God's own possession, to the praise of His glory, so it's a higher purchase. So when you give your life to Jesus, you accept Christ. He gives you His righteousness. God looks at it, you; doesn't look at you and your sinful life. It's look at the righteousness of Christ. It's just the first installment of the Holy Spirit. So it's a higher purchase. Uh, it's being the, it, the payment doesn't uh, pay. That's like you when you have, do high purchase. Uh, some are paid weekly. You can pay uh, monthly. Uh, and if you don't pay it, then it's taken away from you. That's why Paul said we should walk humbly and in reverence when we are with the Lord. Uh, the installment is done daily. That's why Paul says in Galatians 2, 2 chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 20, and uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 31, I die daily. Uh, in Galatians 2, uh, chapter, 20, uh, chapter 2, verse 20, uh, 20, he says, I crucify myself to the cross so that the life that I live now, Christ liveth in this flesh. Uh, so when Jesus comes, we already said, uh, when Jesus comes, he just comes to take Jesus. You know, We're already citizens of heaven. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. So what is Jesus Christ to us? Uh, Jesus Christ keeps the Holy Spirit as our counselor, as our comforter. Uh, and is your warrior. Remember, God is your warrior. So we are justified by faith. Uh, with us, uh, that is the beauty of uh, knowing Jesus Christ. Uh, we are, uh, we are having, just, having been justified, past tense, you see, uh, by faith. Uh, you're, you don't, you're not afraid of your, your judgment, your judgment day, because that has been taken care of Romans chapter 8. We have already done that. You can go back to that episode. By faith, we have peace through God, through with God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. So everything is in Christ. You have to allow Jesus Christ into your life every day, every daily. I crucify myself. And it says, and not only this, but we celebrate the, uh, and then he says, in verse 2, through whom we have obtained our introduction of faith by this grace in which we stand, and we celebrate in the hope of the glory of God when he comes back, our body. We're just waiting for uh, the change when he comes back, when then this body is changed into glory. And he said, we celebrate that, the hope of his glory. And not only this, but we also celebrate the tribulations, uh, knowing that tribulations bring perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because of the love of God he has poured uh, uh, out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit give us, given to us. So the Holy Spirit gives you the hope, helps you to love perseverance, you know. When tribulation comes, it's uh, um, perseverance. We we'll learn that there's no rapture. Uh, because we, without rapture, uh, the apostles, they went through death. Um, even Jesus went through death. Nobody's going to do the same for the rapture. We we'll learn where we come from and the abuse of that text. So everybody has to go through, through, go through the tribulation because of what? Through tribulations, you what? Your character is what? Uh, being uh, preserved. And perseverance has been molded into the character of a Christ. Perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Abba Father, help me, for I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. That's why recommitting, Heavenly Father, help me to, um, to accept, to celebrate in the hope of Jesus Christ coming back. For my life is hidden in, uh, in heaven with Christ. And help me to uh, accept tribulations. Because through tribulations, I learn to be perseverance and doer 
able to, to pull my character that I love Jesus. Uh, 